Welcome back to Visual Math with Ian and Vera. Okay, so today we're doing addition. No. What is it? Addition is a simply a means to determine the total number of items in a group. Is addition difficult? Nope. It is easy as counting. What can it do for you? It helps you in calculating a total of many small or very large groups of items. Counting items. So let's say we have some items and we decide to group them and now we want to count them. Can you draw a number line? Yes. Can you put some dashes on the number line? Yes, I can. Okay, let's put some numbers on the number line. Six, okay. Six. All right. So, if we move those items now to the number line, we can count them. And so, do the rest, and there we go. And so, the answer is... 10. So, that means that we had four green items, six blue items, for a total of 10. And so now we can say that our group had 10 items. And all we did was count it. So you know how easy that was? Yes. All right. So let's look at how we may count groups of items. So not just one group, but if we had more than one group. So imagine that we took our old group and we decided into two groups like this, where we had the green items in our own group and the blue items in a separate group. Now, if we move items to the number line, it might look like this. And we can do the same thing of labeling our groups with how many items are in that group. And then if we do that to the second group, where we move the items from the blue group, then we can also label that group with how many items are in the group. So we have two distinct groups in these two groups. And as before, four green items, we have six blue items. Let's talk about... What about a group with no items? Yep. Let's get rid of that group and we get rid of all our items. And now we can say this group has how many items? Zero. Where is zero on the number line? Nowhere. So when we wrote our number line the first time, we did not put the all important zero. So yes. zero is a number and we must add it. So, yes, so we add it. So we have to shift things over and add it. All right, so now our number line is correct. We've started from zero because zero is a number. We cannot forget about zero. Now we can say that this group has zero items. Let's go back to adding groups of items. We still have these two groups, but we want to add them before we counted the number of items in each group. So if we were to add these groups together, We'll start off by taking the number from each group. So we take group one, the green items. And, and group we'll, two, which the is blue. the blue. Yep. And we need to add them. Okay. So first, you have to start with the biggest number. And the biggest number is six. It's uh, ten. It's ten. So but what we did was just simply take the blue items and then put them next to the green items on the number line. And we got... The number 10 and so our result then which we use an equal sign to show is 10 and we as before we have four green item six blue items and our total is 10 now this is very cumbersome it takes up a lot of space all right so we want to be able to write an addition equation do you know what an addition equation is no you don't know what addition equation is? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll show you. I forgot. You forgot? Yes. All right. So addition equation, we will take away the number line because we can't always be writing number line all over the place. And we'll replace the grouping by the number of items in its group because remember, we know how to count the item in each group. So we replace that with a number and replace that group also with a number. And now we can write an equation like this. But sometimes it's more customarily to see the equation that looks like this instead. We remove the numbers under each other and we put the plus sign next to the number and then we draw a line underneath. Then we put the total like that. And so that is an equation just like we had before except we don't use any dots anymore and we don't use a number line. Does it make sense? Yes. Was that cool? Yes. 
So now we know to add numbers and how to write an equation, we can move to adding multiple digits. Multiple digits addition. All right. So before we only had the number four, but this time we're going to deal with the number 34, which has two digits. And then we're going to add to that the number 96, also two digits. Do you think you can do this addition? Yes. All right. So of course, remember, we have to put our little line. There. So here's my trick. Just as when we're doing line plot, I like to hide the things I don't have to deal with. So I say you had one column at a time starting from the right. So we're going to pretend that the nine and three from the are second column are not there. Very good. Okay. And then now all we have to do is focus on adding the four, four and the six, six, which we know gives is us ten. Ten. So we just put zero yeah. there and one we just put on top of three. Very good. And then we add them up, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 13. Then we cross out the 3, just as before, we put it below here, and now we, we take can... the 1, and then we put them put right, right there, there. Yes. because we don't have any more numbers to add. No. Very good. So that is 130. Very good. So all right, let's try another multiple digits, digits addition. addition. All we're right, so that. this time we're going to try the number 389 plus 769. Good, very good. And then we'll do the same thing. We're going to hide the numbers we don't want to think about. And now we just focus on adding Na two nines. Nine, so. nine is 18. Very good. So now and we cross out the eight and we put it there. Then we do what? Put the one on top of the eight. Very good. And now we and have. And then we add the six, eight, and one. All right. And we it's get. It's 15. And then we cross out the five. And put the one on top of the three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. And then we cross out the one, put it there. And since we have no more numbers to add, we simply put it there. 1,158. Ah, very good. 1,158. All right, let's try some more. That's practice. So we're going to add the number. 547. Plus. 293. All right, so again, we pretend that those numbers are not there. 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. All right, and then we cross out the zero. Cross out the zero, put the zero there, and then put, okay, put the one on top. Okay, we had the nine, four, and one. No, you're going up from the bottom. Start from the top down. So you had one, four, and nine. So you had one, four, and nine, and you get fourteen. Then you cross out the four, put it there, then you put the one on top, and then you add. You add one, five, and two. And you get eight, and then you put the eight there, and that's it. That's your answer. But notice you repeat the same process over and over. Nothing changed. So, all right, let's do four digits this time. So, do you think you can add these numbers? Yes. All right, so let's do it. We're going to start off. This time, we're not going to hide it because we know what we're doing. We're going to add 8 and, and nine, 9. And we can get 17. 17. And we're going to add the 4 and 9. So, we have 1, 4, and 9. And we get 15. And we and <laughs> we cross the, out the 5. We don't. And then we. We add one plus zero plus three is just four. Right. Then we cross out the four. Then and we three plus two is five. And that's it. Five hundred five five thousand four hundred and fifty seven. Very good. And the notice the process was exactly the same. I didn't show hiding the digit, but you can imagine that that was hidden. All right. So the last example now. We're going to have three sets of numbers. Each set of number is still going to be four digits, but it's going to be three sets of number. So we have 9,731 plus 2,207 plus 1,866. Again, we're going to pretend that we don't care about all the other numbers in the other column except that first column on the right. One plus 
seven plus six. And then we get equals fourteen. We cross out the four, put Take, it there. Put it there and put the one on top of right. the three. One plus three plus zero plus six. And that's equals to ten. To ten. We cross out the zero, put it there. And then put the one on top. top. And so then we, one plus seven plus two plus eight. Right. And that gives us eighteen. And then we cross the eight, put it there, put the one on top of the nine. Then we one plus nine plus two plus one. And that gives us thirteen. Then we, we put the three there. And then, then so there's the no one, more anything else no to add. More. So that's a billion. <laughs> no, it's not a billion. <laughs> okay, just imagine if it was this. What is that number? Three thousand, right? Oh, three thousand. So, so how much is this now? How many thousands is that? Three. No, no, no. How many is that? You said thirteen. Thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand eight hundred and four. All right, very good. Thirteen thousand eight hundred and four. Look at that. You're adding very big numbers, but all you did was keep repeating the process by adding just one column of numbers at a time. Column are all the numbers that go straight up and down. All right. You think you got it now? Yes. It doesn't matter how many sets of numbers you have or how many digits that in each set. If you apply this simple process, you can add any number, doesn't matter. And it's just counting. All right. All right. So, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, subscribe. If you want us to see if you want to see more math videos from us, leave a comment down below. All right. Thank you and bye. All right. Bye.